If you're interested in learning basic embroidery, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll walk you through eight essential stitches to get you started. Let's begin with the running stitch because it's one of the easiest. Thread a needle that has an eye just larger than your floss. Tie a knot at the end and bring your needle up through your fabric. Decide how long you want your stitches to be and push the needle down. Now bring your needle up again, leaving a gap the same length as your first stitch and bring it back down to create a second stitch. For a smooth, unbroken line of embroidery, there's nothing like the back stitch. It starts out just like the running stitch, but instead of moving your needle forward on your second stitch, you'll take it backward, pushing it down into the previous stitch, right through the same hole. Use the satin stitch to fill in the blank parts of your design. Bring your needle up along the pattern line and then insert it down on the opposite outline edge. Bring it back up on the same side and then back down as close to the previous stitch as possible, making sure no fabric shows through. Then just keep going until your design is filled in. You can embroider a pretty braided effect with the split stitch. You'll start by making a simple stitch, then bring your needle back up through the center of that stitch, splitting your floss. Bring the needle down again to create another stitch the same size as your first, and then pull your needle back up to split the floss again. The stem stitch is often used for embroidering stems and leaves, but it's great for lettering too. Start by pushing your needle up through the fabric and back down again. But before pulling it all the way through, hold the loop of floss below your marked line and then bring your needle back up in the middle of your stitch. To finish, let go of the loop and pull the floss through. The outline stitch is the mirror image of the stem stitch. You held the floss loop below your marked line to create the stem stitch, but now you'll hold it above the line to make the outline stitch. At first glance, they look very similar, but the stem stitch angles down while the outline stitch angles up. You can make flower petals, leaves, hearts, and other loop designs with the Lazy Daisy Stitch. Pull your needle up through your fabric and then push it back down right next to where you brought it up. Before pulling the floss all the way through, bring the tip of your needle up inside the loop at the point that will be the end of your shape. Pull the floss through, but not too hard because you want to keep the shape rounded. Secure the loop by bringing your needle back through the fabric on the opposite side. You can create fun polka dots with the French knot stitch. After bringing the needle up through your fabric, wrap your floss two or three times around your needle. Hold the excess floss taut with your other hand as you slowly pull the needle through to create your knot. With this video as your guide, create a cute sampler to use as a reference. Then let your creativity shine. For more DIY inspiration, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to live a creative life.